Today I'm going to be reading the story, What If There Were No Lemmings? A book about the tundra ecosystem. Lemmings are true cold weather survivors. In fact, their homes are buried beneath the snow for much of the year. Wrapped in warm furry coats, lemmings share the Arctic tundra with some big neighbors. Wolves, caribou, polar bears, and musk oxen call the tundra ecosystem home. It's critical. The Arctic tundra circles the North Pole. It has only two seasons, summer and winter. Summer lasts less than two months and gets no warmer than about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Most winter days are below freezing. No thank you. Animals in the tundra depend on plants and each other for food. They're tied to one another by food chains. Lemmings, like most living things, belong to several change. chains. When many food chains connect, they form a food web. During the long cold winter, lemmings live in nests beneath the snow. They nibble on roots and grasses and have lots of babies. When warmer summer days come, the babies leave the nest for the first time. They scurry about with their parents, feasting on wildflowers, grasses, sedges, and moss. It's critical. Lemmings are known for their population booms. Every three to four years, large numbers of lemmings are born. As a result, lemming predators, such as snowy owls and weasels, eat well and grow in population too. However, during bust years, few lemmings are born, predators have less food, and their numbers drop. Lemmings have many animals to fear including foxes, ermines, owls, and jaggers. But another danger is global warming. Higher temperatures mean more freezing rain and less snow on the tundra in winter. Lemmings may struggle to find food that isn't coated in ice, and a thinner blanket of snow doesn't keep the lemmings' homes as warm. It's critical. Sometimes a plant or animal species is so important that without it, many other species could become extinct. It's called a keystone species. Lemmings are a keystone species. Keystone species help make sure an ecosystem has many types of life in it. So I wonder what would happen if lemmings became extinct? A number of animals in the tundra eat only meat, and lemmings are a favorite meal. If lemmings disappeared, smaller meat eaters such as owls and ermines would have trouble finding food. It's critical. Without lemmings, the owl and jager populations would drop. This would mean fewer eggs for animals such as arctic foxes to eat. See how they've been blacked out? At first, these carnivores would fill their bellies with mouse-like voles, arctic hares, and other small animals. But without lemmings, there wouldn't be enough food to go around. Soon, many birds, ermines, and arctic foxes would be in danger of starving. And as we can see, there's even more animals being blacked out. Without small meat eaters, larger meat eaters would go hungry too. 
Wolves, for example, feed on many different creatures, including foxes and young snowy owls. Without foxes and owls, the wolves would rely on caribou even more to survive. Not all tundra carnivores, excuse me, not all tundra carnivores kill other animals for food. Some look for creatures that are already dead. Wolverines, for example, kill and scavenge. They eat anything they can find. At first, starving animals would provide a feast, but eventually, even scavengers would run out of food. It's critical. Scavengers follow wolves, polar bears, and other large predators on their hunts. Once these predators eat their fill, scavengers finish the leftovers. A beautiful tundra would look and sound very different without lemmings. No wolves or arctic foxes prowling their frozen ground. No jaggers or owls soaring across the sky. No wolverine growls filling the air. No hares leaping over the snow. No lemmings or voles nibbling on grasses. What would happen if lemmings became extinct? Plenty. The loss of just one small animal, such as the lemming, would greatly change the balance of many food chains in the tundra. Thankfully, the lemming population has stayed fairly healthy through the years. Lots of lemmings keep important tundra food chains strong for the future. You can see on the map, the red is the tundra ecosystem. It's critical Many people are working hard to keep tundra animals safe by trying to slow global warming. By walking or riding bikes, people reduce the amount of fuel they use in cars and trucks. Less fuel used means less pollution. Just a little bit of information. So tundra animals in danger. So these Following animals and populations are in danger of becoming extinct. The polar bear, Stellar's eider, which there's a picture right there, caribou, and ribbon seal. Ways that you can help. Ride your bike or walk instead of taking a car. Cars burn gas and create pollution. This pollution causes Earth's temperature to rise, which is called global warming. Tundra plants and animals are in danger in their home gets too warm. Keeping your house a few degrees cooler in winter and a little warmer in summer also helps burn less fuel. When lots of people make this small change, it can make a big difference for the planet. And that was, what if there were no lemmings?